once you've got this all installed you can go in and start your Eclipse and as I said there's my 3.1 first thing it asks you on Eclipse let me try that again first thing it asks you when you start Eclipse is where do you want to save your workspace now I'm going to show you how to do this so it doesn't ask again basically you click that little check mark right there you need to tell it where you're going to tell it have it save all of the work that you're doing in this class working on a project for an extended period of time you may want to change this workspace and tell it to save to a jump drive if, and if that's the case put in your jump drive your flash drive and tell it to save to it you may want to tell it to save to uh, a workspace that's by default what it'll usually pop up and say save it to whatever your login ID is and workspace I'm going to tell mine to save to my documents backslash Java use whatever's on there uh, just simply don't click this box so that it stops asking you that might be a good thing to just simply leave turned off and that way when you come in you can specify where you want the Java file to be set up and stored at yes Eclipse does take a couple seconds to get started before it's really ready to uh, start helping you and it'll just take a few more seconds here there we go I'll resize this so it actually fits on my recording screen there we go and it comes up with this nice welcome screen so you can see an overview get some tutorials some samples and see what's new with the latest release I'm just going to close that Eclipse is pretty simple you've got a package explorer very much like Visual Studio you've got an outline which I never use and then you've got a listing of problems and your work area when you start it you're always going to do new project and then you'll specify that it is a Java project or another type of project once you're a little bit more advanced and you're going to give the project a name uh, I'll call this one first there we go and finish and there it has created the first project right there in my package explorer pretty straightforward you haven't really done anything yet all you've done is created a folder to store this all in when you're ready to get started you're going to create a class so new class and I'm going to go over all this again you'll see this lots of times and I'll call this one just messing because that's all I'm doing is just messing around you've got all kinds of things you could specify in it any modifiers um, super classes stuff like that this will all make sense later for right now I'm going to tell it to turn on um, any method stubs and I want it to go ahead and create the public static void main you'll get used to seeing that public static void main I'm going to turn that on and click finish and it goes through and it creates everything and does a little bit of work and there's my first Java program now it doesn't do anything but it's there it's ready to go and it's ready to mess around with so you've now not only installed Java installed Eclipse but you've also generated a first very simple Java package wow all in the first day of class too <laughs> Any questions? Because I know I talk fast. Yes. Hold, hold on. Which part? How, how many steps do I need to back up? Creating the package? Yeah. File, new, project. And just give it a name like first or okay so creating the class on first when it's listed off on underneath package you're going to right click click new and then class 
and when you do that, it generates the rest of it. Okay? Now, at the end of the semester, we'll actually have multiple classes. Wow, I've got class. Makes me feel special already. Yes? This class? On a scale from 1 to 10 to 12, is that what somebody said? <laughs> um, that's a very difficult question to answer. If you are a logical person that likes to solve problems, you're going to love this class. Because that's what it's all about, is solving problems. Your own problems, usually, that you put there. Um, that you didn't realize you put there. You will come to hate semicolons in this class. Uh, brackets aren't any fun either, um, and parentheses and, and the rest of them. But um, if you like to solve problems, if you're one of those people that just can't stand, if there's a problem in front of you, to not mess with it, you're going to be fine. You're going to like this class because you'll have lots of opportunities to do that. If, and I... I teach, have taught uh, the intro to programming classes at lots and lots of places. About week eight, you're going to go, why am I doing this to myself? About week ten, you're going to start going, this is starting to make sense. By week twelve, you're going to just say, hey, this isn't so bad. By week sixteen, some of you will actually sign up to take the second Java class. Most and the majority of the assignments in this class are focused towards business because this is designed to be a business course. I'm going to add a few things to make it a little bit more interesting for the two-thirds that are computer graphics and game programming people, which usually makes it a little bit more fun for everybody else as well. So hopefully that will uh, make life a little bit more tolerable. Okay? Any other questions? Have I answered everybody's questions? Yes? The text editor is the IDE. Right. You can see, they, I think in the book they talked about Bluebird or Blue Jay or, or tech, yeah, and TextPad. There, there's like 20 different editors for this. Um, the, and there is a very good reason why I w chose to go with Eclipse. Primarily because IBM, Sun, Borland and all these other places started giving money to the Eclipse organization that was developing this and then they've been taking the Eclipse base code and adding on to it for their products that they sell. So right now we have the basis of what most of the corporates are using and selling out there. Uh, that's why I go ahead and use it. A lot of professors in uh, programming don't always let you start out using an IDE. I do. Our very first program that we'll do on Thursday, I'm going to show you how to do it with TextPad, so that if you ever get stuck someplace and don't have an IDE, you just got a laptop and notepad, you can still be coding. Um, but I feel very strongly that once you get used